water. We use it every day, but rarely give a thought as to where it comes from or the reliability of our supply. Across the globe, water consumption has tripled in the last 50 years. A family of four can use as much as 400 gallons of water every day, and the demand is only expected to increase. At least 36 states are anticipating local, regional, or statewide water shortages in the near future, even under non-drought conditions but not Pittsburgh, Kansas. This vibrant city in Southeast Kansas provides its residents and businesses with clean, reliable water. And it's all due to geography and forward thinking by city leaders. Well, you know, there's one important thing for life. You just have to have water. And you need to be secure in that water supply. You need to wake up every morning knowing that that water when it comes out of the tap is clean and pure and the highest quality possible. You know, I think that's a very good sign when we're doing our job, people don't think about our job. We just depend on us to do it well. A successful city is more than a collection of streets, houses, and businesses. It's a collection of strong, caring families, ambitious entrepreneurs, and visionary city leaders. Pittsburgh isn't just a city, it's a community. Four of Kansas' largest corporations were started and remain headquartered in Pittsburgh. It is the only county in Southeast Kansas projected to increase in population over the next decade. And it continues to invest in its infrastructure. The city's water treatment plant is a perfect example of this. In 2010, city officials embarked on a $7.6 million renovation project and the end result is a plant that is capable of supporting the water needs of its residents in the region well into the future. This plant here was constructed 40 years ago. It was state-of-the-art at the time, but you know, since then it's, those times have changed and now with the remodel that we just recently did, that's brought things up more up to date with that. I mean, we can produce twice as much water and treat twice as much water as what we did before. And the, the one thing that stood out to me was the automation. It's extremely automated, it's designed to be automated, um, has more automation for the future and it's something that we can rely on that won't become an operating um, hamstring, if you will, for the rest of the city. This treatment plant is probably one of the more advanced water treatment plants regarding our automation in the entire state. Plus, you know, we, uh, we added a geothermal well, which allows us to take and be able to heat and cool this building. It's more economical. We have a lot more things, but it's not really costing us more energy-wise than what we were before. When it comes to water, Pittsburgh has an edge over every other city in the region. It's located right above the deepest part of the Ozark Plateau Aquifer. The Ozark Aquifer contains some of the highest quality water in the region, and it will provide the city with a reliable source of water for generations to come. The Kansas Geological Survey and the United States Geological Survey and the Kansas Water Office several years ago put together a study and, uh, and, and our wells on this property were part of that study. Studies that they recently did uh, proved that you know this water is going to be here for a long, long time. Even in the drought, we had no water restrictions whatsoever. Uh, and in fact, our water table kept increasing. And so I think that's notable. I think it's a big deal. It's something that uh, puts us over the top on a lot of things. And I think in the future, it'll be a difference maker for who wants to live in Pittsburgh and who wants to live in Southeast Kansas. So that's a very positive feeling for us. And it really ought to be encouraging for industry if they're ever thinking about coming this way. Um, you can't make a lot of products without water. And, uh, and I think it really positions the city of Pittsburgh well. Never content to settle for average, Pittsburgh officials work diligently throughout the day to test, treat, and deliver the highest quality water possible. This state-of-the-art plant will produce 2.5 million gallons of water every day. And every drop of that water is carefully filtered and treated inside the plant before it's delivered to the city. You see, Pittsburgh is a close-knit community, and those in charge want to make certain their families, friends, and neighbors have water that is clean, clear, and refreshing. The state requires us to do Batchological sampling, we have to do chlorine residuals every day. There's lead and copper sampling, THM sampling. Our turbidity, which is normally, uh, the state requires it be less than a, you know, a one NTU, which may not be anything you understand, but it's a way of measuring the light that reflects. And our right now is 0 .03. Pittsburgh is on the cusp of something big. 
Its residents and leaders believe in the future of their community and are making preparations to support new industry, new commerce, and its neighboring communities. You know, things all happen in the right time, in the right place, in the right reasons. Uh, we're positioning ourselves to be that supplier. We will be that supplier someday. The reality is we do have a great supply of water. I think we sit on a thousand feet, um, something like that. And uh, we're prepared to, with, with the four or five wells that we have to pump that water up as we need to supply it to whoever needs it. So feel very comfortable in our ability to do that. We just take a pride in what we do. We, we, we just really feel good about the fact that we make a safe drinking water for this public. Fresh, clean drinking water is something the world struggles with. Um, it's something the state struggles with and we're proud that in southeast Kansas and particularly in Pittsburgh we have our hands around that problem. And I think it does reflect that uh, if we're this proud of this facility that we're also proud of the product that we produce and uh, I think people should be comforted by that knowing that, that someone really cares and we're watching over uh, every drop of water that leaves this place. Water. Personal, corporate or recreational. It's one of the most valuable resources known to man. It's not just the building block of life. It's the building block of successful cities. Pittsburgh is ready to support your business, to help you succeed, and to welcome your family into our community.